I can just imagine the the that time being like you've only got a little bit of cash to spend and you got to guard it and you can't just run to a bank and be like I'll put this over here it's like you know, I got to do some I got to convert into something that's actual property yeah yeah and everybody's like you're a sailor eh okay pay up front <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> like well I have yeah. almost everything I need it's like no 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 there's another song um, uh, that I like called the um, it's called the Dead Horse Shanty, uh... Uh, which it's about this idea of um, back in the day when you when you when you're horse trading. Once the transaction has completed, like once you bought the horse. If the horse then immediately dies, that's it. You're like, you're out of luck. Once the right. transaction is done, there's no going back on it. Right. Um, and so uh, the the idea was, is that again, when you're a sailor, you're, you're, uh, you're often given your first month's wages as an advance to, for things that you need to buy on shore. Uh, and so often, but you know, People either either sometimes that first month got taken by the uh, guy who got you the job on the ship. Oh, or it's like it, a hiring it, fee, or, or yeah. it will be lost in various other ways. Mm -hmm. And so there's often this situation where you get onto the ship with broke, and you also had an advance on your first month's salary. So you don't actually. You, so for the first month on the ship, you're basically working for free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, and so that was called dragging a dead horse around because, ah. because you, 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 uh, you're doing work and not getting any payment for it. Uh, from your perspective as the, as from the your, sailor. From your perspective. Yeah. 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 Um, and so, uh, and so the dead horse shanty was sung. It's, it's a special shanty that's sung, um, after, uh, after that first month, um, to to that now you're getting rid of your dead horse uh and apparently they would actually they would actually have like like an effigy of of like a horse out of like uh you know bits of like uh sticks and sail and stuff and throw it overboard <laughs> as like a ceremonial thing nice uh and so um and so that, that was the idea is that you're now no longer riding your dead horse or dragging your dead horse it was kind of fun <laughs> um what I but the other thing I love about that that particular shanty is that it's you know the in the 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 uh, uh, game of telephone that is shanty you know as they're as things are passed from one group to another well, shanty man to another shanty man between different languages between different cultures different things things get messed up and so the, there's all these verses of the dead horse shanty where that start getting really like it, it appears that at some point along the way people thought it was just song about an actual horse like like the metaphor of this like horse is that you being gets very strained it's like whoa we're gonna you know we're gonna use the uh we're gonna use the the iron of his shoes to make deck nails and we'll use the hair of his tail to mend our sails and we'll do all it is it's right like, wait is this a real horse now right. do you guys think that there's a real horse or is this still the metaphorical payment the, horse yeah. thing <laughs> this, i this... heard that in australia they have dead horses on their boats oh fascinating <laughs> yeah yeah what an unusual culture but it's just this like funny thing where it's like you know where, where they're they, somebody hears that it's like dead horse and they go oh i have all sorts of things that i can sing about a dead horse <laughs> anyway it's it's one of those one of those uh it, that happens a lot with shanties you know they, you'll have like verses that are things that start out as or things that are now like just nonsense things that'll be like la da 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 da, da you know that are just like filler stuff right originally were actual lyrics but like in a different language and then they were translated and oh. then somebody took like a phonetic version of that and started singing it and then it got translated you know it went through iterations until it didn't actually make any sense <laughs> anymore and people thought it was just supposed to be like 
uh, a filler line. It was mm-hmm. not actually supposed to be words. But anyway. To the Australians uh, who are still awake in chat, I mean, let's be honest, Bunning Snag does sound like it should be the name of a horse. It's just it's true. It's true. Letting you know. Is that a place? Bunnings is a is a place you can shop, and a snag is a is a sausage on bread or on a bun. Um, basically, you have they have like a. It sounds like a great insult. You know how yeah, like, this is how yeah, my understanding Bunnings of it, right? Snag. Yeah, Bunnings is a hardware store. Okay, Bunnings Warehouse, I believe, is what the whole thing is. It is it is bread. Okay, and usually with onions. I can't remember. And anyway, the idea is uh, is that different uh, different local. Uh, community groups will will do a snag like a they'll sell a sausage on bread in front of different businesses as a means of raising money for stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah we just sell hot dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. same kind of idea, right? But but we the just, idea of, we we don't have it as we don't have a as nice a word for it. And it's not really as formalized an idea. I find like sometimes in front of a Canadian Tire, I'll see it, but it doesn't really happen on a regular basis. But apparently. Bunnings has always got snags for sale in front that they're not selling, that somebody else is selling. You're like, well, I hope you washed your hands. Welcome to Beige's internal. Uh... Sometimes I make a couple jumps on my horse. Is that why your horse is dead, Beige? Mon- yeah, the monologue is beating my horse to death is what it's doing, yeah. <laughs> 